This coming Sunday is the 17th Sunday in Ordinary Time. We are continuing to read from Luke's Gospel, and the passages focus on Jesus and his disciples. The passage is a familiar one. It's from Luke chapter 11, verses 1 through 13. Let's take a listen. Jesus was praying in a certain place, and when he had finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray, just as John taught his disciples. He said to them, When you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins. For we ourselves forgive everyone in debt to us, and do not subject us to the final test. And he said to them, Suppose one of you has a friend to whom he goes at midnight and says, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread, for a friend of mine has arrived at my house from a journey, and I have nothing to offer him. And he says in reply from within, Do not bother me. The door has already been locked, and my children and I are already in bed. I cannot get up to give you anything. I tell you, if he does not get up to give the visitor the loaves because of their friendship, he will get up to give him whatever he needs because of his persistence. And I tell you, ask and you will receive, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. What father among you would hand his son a snake when he asks for a fish, or hand him a scorpion when he asks for an egg? If you then, who are wicked, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? Something prompted the disciples to ask Jesus about prayer. What was it? They saw Jesus going off to a certain place to pray to his Father. What did they notice? Did they notice that this was a priority for Jesus? Did they notice how that time of prayer changed him in some way? Was it simple curiosity? Did they see Jesus as the master teacher and they were just learning what it meant to pray? Maybe there were a variety of motives for asking Jesus, Lord, teach us to pray. He then teaches them the Our Father. In reality, he was first teaching them something about who God is. Who is the God that you are turning to in prayer? It begins the, with the word our. Our Father has many children, all of us. All of us with a unique relationship. The word for Father is Abba, a more intimate word that might best be translated as Daddy. In this unique relationship, we are asking that God help us to be instruments of bringing about his kingdom. We are also meant to imitate God in forgiving others, in showing mercy. The second part of the gospel story is about the generosity of the father of the house who shares with those who ask and seek and knock. We are encouraged to always turn to our loving father to ask, to seek, to knock. Do you always get what you ask God for? We can be disappointed. God, it might appear, does not listen to us. At least he doesn't give us what we ask for, what we think that we need. Our God is not like a genie in the bottle who sees somehow this need we have and we think might be like a magician who simply grants the wish. Our God is just not like that genie in the bottle, the genie in the lamp. Our God is about establishing a relationship, a loving relationship with us, one in which we ask him 
for what we need. We ask him for what we need because of our relationship with him. We don't ask as if it's magic. God is always more generous to us than we can imagine. He knows what is best for us, what is good for us, what we truly need. We can be easily frustrated when we think our prayer is not being taken seriously by God. Prayer is not so much about getting something from God. It's really about helping my relationship with God to grow. Helping that relationship, a loving relationship, to deepen. Let the gospel fill your week. For now, God bless. See you in church.